We've done an edit now, and we would like to export this video for the internet, such as Vimeo or YouTube. One possibility is to go to File, Export, Media. The short key is Ctrl or Command M. This will bring up the media encoder of Premiere. But we're going to do it different. I would like you to show the power of the Adobe package, which is called Dynamic Link. Let's close Premiere, but make sure you save everything. With the installation of Premiere Pro comes Adobe Media Encoder. We can see three important panels. The queue is where we'll import our edits from Premiere. This can be a batch list of many edits. Down below is the encoding panel. Here you will see information during the export or encoding. For example, how long it takes to export. On the right you'll see presets, video settings that have been pre-made by Adobe. And believe it or not, but these presets are good, very good. So basically you can use the YouTube preset without worrying about the technical aspects. But since we're using a professional platform, we'll need to know what's behind that preset. This is not iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. Let's import our edit now. Go to the folder where your project file has been stored and simply drag it into your queue. In the dialog box that appears now, you can see all the sequences you have in your project. Choose the correct sequence that you want to export. Remember that we have made one nested sequence. This is not the one we need to export. The edit is now in queue. And let's take a look at the settings now. First, we'll choose the codec. This is going to be the compression type of your video. Some of them are for audio only. Out of experience, I only recommend one codec if you want to export for the internet. And that is the H264 codec, which uses the same algorithms as the MPEG codec. For that codec, Adobe provides certain presets. And let's just simply select that HD YouTube preset. Now let's find out what's behind this preset by clicking on it. This will open the same window as we have seen in Premiere Pro. On the top left you can view the original video and the output, which will be the movie after export. But beware, this is only an indicator. And I must say it's not a very good indicator. If I turn down the bitrate, the source and the output looks like they have the same quality. But I know that with such a low bitrate, your video will look very bad. I'm going to show you three tabs. Video, audio and the multiplexer, which I'm going to start with. The multiplexer is not a codec. With the same codec you have different kind of multiplexers to choose from. This will be the extension of your video file. To explain it easily, the multiplexer is the wrapper around your package. We'll choose MP4 for now. Search Wikipedia if you want to learn more about codecs and multiplexers. I will also explain more about this in my advanced training. Let's go to the video tab now. The wide and the height is the resolution of your video, which I have explained in the first course. For web, you can also go to a lower HD format, which is 1280 by 720. It will retain the impression of the HD quality, and you'll have a much smaller file. But I love to see full HD movies on my screen to enjoy the HD quality at its maximum, so I'm going to change it back. The frame rate, the field scan, and the aspect ratio have already been discussed in the first course. TV standard is only necessary if you export for broadcast. For the internet, just make sure your frame rate is correct. The profile and level is also more complex. To explain it quick, this points out a profile that restricts the video limits. 
Watch closely to the resolution when I change the level. And if I want to increase the resolution now, the application will complain that it will ask me to increase the profile at level first. Check Render at Maximum Depth if you have a fast computer. This slightly increases the video quality without having a bigger file. Same thing goes for the checkbox down below. But the render time will take longer. Check Frame Blending if you are using a different kind of frame rate than the original video to keep the motion go smooth. And we never check the box Use Previews. This will use the render files during your edit and it results in a much faster export, but quality may be be lost and you have a much higher chance of video errors. Now let's head to the bitrate settings. Use CBR, which stands for constant bitrate, if you want a fixed bitrate. The quality will be better in some points and the export will go faster, but your file will be bigger. The bitrate is the size of your video per second. This codec also allows you to choose VBR, which stands for Variable Bitrate. At some points of your video, you don't need a large bitrate, and the codec can calculate this. Set the minimum rate and the maximum rate. The codec will now calculate a bitrate between those two values. The keyframe distance is again a whole page that I could explain. To keep it simple, a lower value results in a bigger file, but better quality, and a larger value results in a smaller file with less quality. To give you an ID, set this around 25. If you have people running or some fast motion in your video, set it even lower, because that is where you will see the quality lost. Now head over to the audio tab. Choose a codec. Always use a common one, like AAC or MP3. The sampler rate should never go below 44.1 kHz. Higher than 48 kHz is also not necessary, unless your capture device had a bigger sample rate. Audio quality. Always pick high. Audio never has a big influence on the size of your video file. For the bitrate, never go below 96 or above 320. Choose something in between, or just 320 to have the maximum quality. Even if you have more options, 320 really is the maximum, above is just unnecessary. OK, we're done with the settings. Press OK. And the last thing is our destination. Click on it and change it to the path to where you want it to be exported. Click Save and press the green button to start encoding. You can pause encoding anytime you want. Thank you for watching my Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 basic training. I wish you good luck and happy editing.